Okay, I'm gonna make this short and sweet and to the point. Ghostbusters Afterlife was superb. I absolutely loved it. My daughter loved it. She saw it with me. And, you know, let me give you the, the whole picture here. <clears throat> Summer of 1984. <clears throat> me, an entering 10th grader uh, into Walton High School, I decided to go see the movie Ghostbusters by my little lonesome. Nobody I knew was interested, so I went. And I came out of there changed. I became a Ghostbusters fan. Now, if you remember, for those of you who remember back that far, the craze, right? The soundtrack. They kept on playing the Ray Parker Jr. song, Ghostbusters, on the radio all the time. And everybody would stop and sing Ghostbusters. You would see the music video all the time. There were hats, there were t-shirts, there were mugs, there, there was everything you can think of that had to do with Ghostbusters and it was absolutely great at the time it was a fun time 1984 was a great year and Ghostbusters was one of the uh, reasons why it was a great year okay and this movie Ghostbusters Afterlife kind of affirmed it affirmed it if you are a Ghostbusters fan you will love this movie there is no mistaking it what i like about the ghostbusters films is that it knows what it is they know what they are they're they're they try to be serious but you can't be serious about it you know they're chasing ghosts and trapping them in traps and stuff like that i mean we saw the in the original film from 1984 how they came about learning how to do that and then we and the previews show this there you know apparently the girl uh, the main protagonist in the film she you know the one with the glasses you could tell that's egon's like granddaughter or something like that and <clears throat> they're in a farm somewhere they're in this area somewhere in the middle of nowhere in this remote town and they find and you see this in the preview they find the original car you know the ecto car and how they unrav unravel it, unwrap it, and boom, boom, boom. Before you know it, you know, the ghosts are coming back out. Even Gozer's coming back out. And you see the Stave Puff Marshmallow Man, little bits of versions of them in the preview. Paul Rudd was amazing in this film, by the way. You know, I swear, it's like every movie he's been in, except for Halloween 6, that sucked, um, was amazing. <clears throat> it is amazing. And, um... You know, and, and here's the thing. I, I don't. Even, I'm not gonna spoil stuff. I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it. So I'm not gonna get into who was in it. I'm not gonna get into what the future holds for this revised or revived franchise. Right? Um, just watch the movie, and and especially now this caters to both the new generation right uh, of young people you got this kid from stranger things in there he's he's older now and and he he plays a pivotal role in the film too is this girl's brother and then there's, there's a few other kids in this and they kind of like un unlock the secrets of the ghostbusters past right from 1984 and they see the old videos from on youtube from the news footage from the events that happened in manhattan <clears throat> in the first film and it connects. It connects so well to the story and the plot line of this movie. Now, we all know Harold Ramis um, passed away several years ago. Uh, and, you know, this movie definitely is pays homage to him in, in every possible way you can think of. Let me just say it like that. And it's such a beautiful send-off to him and you know and to the all the other original characters if you pay you know there's definitely a tribute there that you need to just watch you really got to watch this movie if you're especially if you're a ghostbuster fan like alex alex from from levels of geeks he was so he's a big time ghostbusters fan you know this for those of you who watch his channel in levels of geeks he was so blown away he was so moved by mira all right, Tava Yorando. He was crying. <laughs> he was a mess, right? There it is, right there. I'm blowing up his spot because it was that good. And I enjoyed it. I even got moved 
when I saw it and stuff. And and my daughter, who I showed the original film to like a year ago or so, and she remembered stuff. And when she saw this, she was like, oh my God, you know, and I was like, this is amazing. This is great. Okay. That's my rant. I'm giving Ghostbusters Afterlife four coffee cups. It is an awesome movie. It's funny. It even has a couple of jumps, little jump scares. You know, I mean, it's not, you know, people will call it horror. It's not, I don't know about horror, but it definitely, it, it, it's, it's ghosts. So let's just count that in. Um, but four coffee cups it is. And I hope you watch it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you come back and talk to me and comment below and share with me what you think. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and tap on the bell for future notifications for future horror and coffee content. This is Ralph Perez from Horror and Coffee imploring you to go see Ghostbusters Afterlife. All right. This was an amazing movie. God bless you. Take care.